venture funded company, uh, came out of Invest Ottawa, but raised uh, six and a half million Series A, um, co-led by Monsanto Grow Ventures and Avrio Capital uh, this past March, and have basically been expanding uh, the new way of selling grain. The strategic plan has got a couple of really interesting things. I mean, so as an entrepreneur who kind of went through the incubator space at Invest Ottawa, um, I'm personally super excited to see that that program is going to be growing and expanding and continuing to improve because uh, as much as we love what we do every day, it's also awesome to have opportunities to either mentor or just see other startups bloom. Um, it kind of speaks to a broader ecosystem building. Um, you know, it's nice to have, you know, one or two big success stories, but then, you know, up and coming companies like us, but also the next generation of new companies starting. And so anything that Invest Ottawa can do to foster that um, and focus on as part of their new strategic plan is, is, is very exciting to me. I'm very excited for this new process to come on board at Invest Ottawa because we do know that having a seamless process where we can have access to resources as soon as possible and as soon as needed, as well having access to investors very easily, having people that can help us in the hard market that we are, which is life science, having all the resources needed on time will be extremely significant for success and be able to grow well be to where we want it to be. We've benefited from a lot of different programs and services that Invest Ottawa provides. So marketedly, the big one is that we uh, live here in the incubator. Uh, we also get terrific mentors and opportunities to profile ourselves. Uh, so one great example of that is when international trade delegations come to Invest Ottawa, we're actually able to present our company and that specifically led to a few licensing opportunities for our technologies abroad. As part of Invest Ottawa's new strategic plan is the global scale-up opportunities. Uh, so things like, for example, Mike's recent trip to China, uh, we were able to meet potential investors and uh, we're being connected to that. So chasing opportunities like that is, I think, really significant for companies based out of the Ottawa region to really create sustainable revenue and be able to grow uh, here in Ottawa. As a family-owned traditional bricks and mortar store, we see more and more companies moving into the digital world in new and exciting ways. In the case of the legacy chip, we can help our customers connect those heirloom items with add new stories and keep them for many generations to come. We have identified four major markets, including fine jewelry, heirloom furniture, artwork, and collectibles. These markets alone represent over $10 billion in revenue. Our goal is to tap a significant portion of those heirloom pieces. The digital world will allow us an amazing opportunity.